Good morning guys, it's Quorum70 here, and it's August 20th, which is when I said I was going to do the Lions franchise series. Um, and this is not going to be like the normal ones, where I trade away everybody and try to win a Super Bowl in one season. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to try to build a dynasty with Detroit, you know, so I'm going to be, you know, being an actual coach, GM, you know, that type sort of thing to try to actually build a team, you know, and I'm not going to trade away everything because I need picks to build a team. Um, I'm talking fast it's because this is the third time I have tried to do the video. First time, I was indecisive. I thought, you know, episode one was just going to be the preseason. But then halfway through the first preseason game, I said, let's just do the regular season. Let's not do preseason. And the video is already 50 minutes at halftime. And I don't want to do, like, an hour and a half video for a video. No one's going to watch it. Um, then the second one, I lost EA servers. My Wi-Fi didn't go out. It's just EA servers just went out because EA is a bunch of fuckwads. I'm just kidding. You know, I, I'm just upset. Um, EA is fine. They're they're fine. They they produce really good games, and I love Madden. You know, but I'm just I'm I am just frustrated. This is the third time, and I have to go to work soon. Like, I have to go to work at 12, and right now it is 10:46. So this is gonna be tight because what I'm gonna do in this series is I'm gonna be playing every single week. I'm gonna be playing every single week. Um, so I'm actually going to, you know, I gotta, I gotta start the game right now. Um, I'm gonna be playing the full game every week. This is gameplay. I am probably gonna be probably one of the worst Madden players you'll ever see. I forced it a lot. I cannot read a defense. I'm trying to learn how to do this from my friend Tyler, who is one of the better players in the world. But um, I just, uh, I just can't for some reason read a defense. So. Uh, but no, uh, and for the storyline, you know, I'm not going to try to blow out the CPU. I mean, if it happens, it happens. But I'm just going to try to win every single week. It's not, we're not. It's just not going to happen. Um, be great. But this season, I don't expect us to be competitive at all. Uh, just for quick updates. Um, the press conference, I said, try to get the run game going. So I have to try to get 150 rushing yards total this, this game. Just not going to be happening. Um, I said blitz counter for the offensive thing because they got one of the best front sevens for 49ers. So I think they're going to be blitzing a lot. Um, and then a the defensive side, stop Raheem Mostert, especially on the outside. Uh, wide receivers, I changed. Uh, I have Cephas and Ron St. Brown starting. I benched for Chad Perry. I'm actually going to trade him later on this year. Um, I don't want him to be long-term. I'm going to be keeping Tyrell Williams. And all that. You know, like I said, this is just a quick thing. If you guys really want to see what I did, go to my Twitch, um, which is Corwin701. You can look at both of those videos, and I really give it a more in-depth thing. Those are my first two YouTube videos. That's what I do YouTube videos on. I stream on Twitch. I download the the Twitch stream, and I upload it to YouTube. That's how I do them. Um, but yeah, so basically, all I'm trying, all I'm really, um. I'm going to pause just for a second so I can explain a few things and I'm going to get back to the game. Basically, the guys I don't want on the team for the long term is Michael Brockers, Jamie Collins, Rashad Perryman, and Quentin Dunbar. Um, I moved Brockers to defensive tackle for the time being, but I may trade him throughout this year because I want the younger guys. Even, if they're not low, even though they're low overall, I want the younger guys, the rookies and his first and second year players, to get reps so they can develop because this is a rebuild we're not going to be competitive this year i would like to be i'm going to try to be but i just don't, th don't think we have the team right now to do that um i'm also not sure if jared goff is going to be the long-term quarterback for us we're just going to see how he does this year but um i may just keep him to the end of his contract and then get a new quarterback um but what i want from you guys is i want you guys to comment down below if you watch this video, please comment below and tell me what you think I should do with these guys. What you th I mean, and other things too. Like, give me suggestions what I should do with this team. You know, I'm obviously I have the last say in it because I'm the one doing it. I may not do all the suggestions I see. And I may do that, but I would like it would be nice to have suggestions of what you guys think I should do, and I'll, I will think every one of them light, not lightly. I will not take them lightly. I will think about them heavily, and I may do them. But I want from you guys is if you watch this video, I want you guys to give me suggestions of what I should do with the Detroit Lions, short term and long term. Keep in mind, I want this franchise to go into like six, seven, maybe even ten years. So, and also, 
Um, all the drafts are going to be random drafts, just because I don't have the, I don't think they've made the, um, the real draft class for next year out yet. And even if they did, it's really hard to tell who's going to be all that. So it's just going to be randoms. Um, I have scouting on auto. That's the only, only thing on auto. Uh, I have it on all Madden on competitive. I don't like simulation because there's a lot of random events, but I like competitive. So with that being said, that's just the overview of what this thing is. I will get probably more in depth probably in the next video when I have more time, but I just don't have time right now. So I try to get this game in and um, let's see if I can beat the 49ers, which I don't believe so. If you've watched, if you go back and watch my past two videos, you see I got killed both times. Nick Bosa is a menace. So I gotta try to stop Nick Bosa, which is probably not gonna happen. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, first down to 10, ball at the 28 yard line. I'm gonna start off with the blitz. And good. I think they're actually going to run. Yep, they're going to run. Oh, they're going to pass. Okay, six-yard gain. But yeah, if my Wi-Fi goes out again, I probably have to do this video another time. But if you guys are watching this video, that means the Wi-Fi never went out. Or... Yeah, servers didn't go out. <sighs> oh, yeah. Good tackle. Who was that? Trey Flowers? Romeo Cora. Good tackle. Now... The reason why I want St. Brown and Cephas to get playing time is just because I want to see what they can do. They're young. They're, I want them to be a part of my future. I like Cephas. I do like Brown. Um, but Shot Perriman is just not a good wide receiver. In this game, it's not. Real life, who knows. But in this game, he's just not that great of a wide receiver. I've played with him. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Darn it. It was either him or Little. I went with Little. Um... But, no, uh, I just want to see what they can do this year. Try to give them some reps. Give them, I mean, the only way for them to really increase in overall and really develop is if they actually play. Um, and I'd rather have a losing season with Ron Sam Brown and Quintus Cephas as my two really good wide receivers, my two wide receivers that really get the majority of the workload along with Tyrell Williams because I like Tyrell Williams. But rather than have a losing season, have Rashad Perriman and having them only get, like, a few touches. You know, so that's why I'm doing that. Because I don't expect this to be competitive this year. So why not get the young guys some playing time? And I'm going to be doing that on the defensive side as well. Good defense. Hey, that's another guy right there who just got the sack. Who I'm going to be starting. He's a low overall. But I want him to... I, I, he's another guy I want to be long term. So all these, pretty much all these young guys I want long term. And see if I can develop them. And so far, that was a good start by, you know, getting his first career sack on Jimmy G. Third and 14. This is a chance to get off the field. So, I don't want to beat him over the top. And, uh, let's see if we can get a stop. Oh, shit. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, he didn't keep his feet in. Let's go. That is lucky. Because I forgot to switch over to the guy I wanted to run with Kittle. And, uh, wow, did I get lucky. Okay, that's going in the end zone. Yes. All right, that was lucky they did, couldn't get his feet in. Jimmy, Jimmy G just flat out missed it. He threw it way too late. All right, let's see what Jarek off can do. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I don't know if he's going to be a long-term quarterback. I knew he's only 25, but also I just don't know. I don't know what I want to do with him. Um, let me know what you guys think I should do with him. Um, but we're just going to see what he can, can do. Ah, uh, darn it. Couldn't get off to the outside. Ooh, that was lucky. That was lucky. That was a that was unforced throw right there. I should not have thrown that. 
See, right now, third and 11. I'm going to see if I can get the PA crossers. You know, see if they can bite on the run. They do bite on the run. And I got Brown wide open. Now, can he outrun the defense? Touchdown? Touchdown? Let's go, Brown! Let's go! Amron St. Brown with the 81 yard touchdown grab. Let's go, Brown. Let's go. He is not the fastest guy in the world, but it looks like he can run the route because that was a perfectly run route. So, you know, he had no safety help. All he had to do was break his corner, and he did. And I'm also happy that Jared Goff didn't just throw a bad pass. So that was also a pretty good pass, too. So we strike first. We strike first in this game. We make a stop on defense, and we go out and score after it looked like we were going to go three and out. That was a good start. Good start. Now, I'm not going to quit out of games because I'm losing. I'm not going to do that. I'm just not. Um, the reason why this is taking three times is because, one, I restarted the video the second time because I didn't want the video to be so long. And the other time, I just lost EA servers. I can't help that because, you know, EA has a mind of its own and wants to go out whenever it wants. Um, so hopefully this is the third and last time. The other times it's just going to be one time done. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. Obviously, I'm going to be trying to win every single game, but I just it's just not going to happen, not with this team. See right there? I should have user lurked that. I should have. Um, that was a bad defensive play call. I thought they were going to run it. I always, I think I'm always just going to run cover three or cover two. You know, cover four if it's a long three, third down, but never cover one. Cover one is just terrible. I'm just trying to hit stick everybody. And it looks like they're going to strike right back. I'm going to try to blitz just because. Let's go. That was a good stop by, by us. Oh no, Brockers is injured. The only reason why I say oh no is because I wanted to trade him throughout, I mean, halfway through the year. That was my original plan, but he's injured. I can't trade him. Darn it, I hope he's not injured bad. But oh no, that means another young guy is gonna come up. Is it gonna be hand? Or is it Akora? The other cores. We got both the cores out. The core brothers are on the ends. Jeff Okuda couldn't tackle, and he's in the end zone. And they're gonna tie it up. Foot contusion. We're going to get McNeil playing time. I don't want Brockers to re-injure himself because I want to trade him. So, I'm just going to give him the day rest. If it was a low uh, re-injury risk, I would have put him back out there since it was high. And I want to trade him. I just, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Swift. That was a good. That was good. I broke a tackle, but he couldn't get much space. Only got a two-yard gain. Uh, I was trying to get Williams. I know I had him, but I was trying to get Williams more away from the guys. 
But I guess I just don't have the time to do that. Alright, we're gonna go PN deep outs. We're gonna see if I can get some guy to bite. But I don't expect us to get the first down. We're gonna go to TJ Hawkinson. And, yep, couldn't get it. It's alright. All right, hopefully it doesn't bounce straight back, and it does. All right, I was hoping it would bounce. I know it's a nine, but I was hoping to get inside the five. Uh, let's do cover four. What the hell is that? A double reverse? I got 15 yards out of it. That was terrible. Terrible. Let's go, Jamie Collins. Ooh, Debo Samuel, one of their top wide receivers, is and in, it got injured. So far, we're not doing a good job containing Raheem Mostert. Third and short. Very short. Why do you guys want to run man? Cover this guy. Ah, they're just killing us on the run right now. They are just killing us on the run. I mean, they are the better team. That's just flat out is what it is. They are the better team. Oh, they lost a offensive lineman. I want to guess run, but like as soon as I do, that's when we're gonna pass. Of course, they're on a screen. He's gone. I don't think we're gonna tackle him. Nope. Mostert is just killing us, killing us right now on both the run and the pass. It's like. I was hoping I would get a good gain out of that. If only it was just, just a little faster. If only he was a little faster. Alright, we need to get something going. This is a play where I don't really like the run, but it can work if they bite on the run. And it looks like they did. But no one can get it. Oh, Williams did, but I'm just going to rush.
The very fast Jared Goff gets a gain of 16. Darn it. Come on, Cephas, come on. What a throw and what a catch. On the run, Jared Goff throws a dot to the sideline to Quintess Cephas and he holds it in. That was incredible. That was incredible. Ah, just cannot get that run game going. Alright. See if Cephas or Williams can get out on the outside and have Swift blocking. Hopefully he goes to the side that, yep, Nick Bose is on. Cephas again? Oh, that. I was hoping Cephas would try to jump and catch that. To run. <laughs> Fucking A. That's a pick six. That was a forced throw. I was trying to hit some guy to curl. I waited too long. See, a curl out, you gotta hit them right when they break. That's how a curl works. You cannot wait. And if you wait and then try to throw it, even if it's a low pass, something like that would happen. That was, uh... Yeah, see, that, that was a mistake by me. I waited too long to throw it. And it resulted in a pick six. Sorry, we still got plenty of time. See, that was not on Jared Goff. That was on my stupidity. And see, now they got the, they got the momentum. That's why the screen is shaking. All right, Swift gets a good gain. Although, now I gotta run, hurry up. Ah! Darn it, at least it stops the clock. Hey, what should I run? Verticals. I'm gonna keep Williams on that route, hopefully, I can hit him. Bro, he has said he was open too. That's what that I think that's what that little exclamation point says he's open. I should not have thrown that. Even though he says he was wide open, I should have known that he was not. See, I, this is what happens. See, this is why. This is what I do. I try to force it in, and that's when I throw a lot of interceptions. Quentin Dunbar just cannot make a tackle. He has gotten manhandled a lot. Even if, when I try to do these videos in the past, he has gotten manhandled. That's another reason why I don't want to keep him. Again! Again! What? What is Quentin Dunbar doing? What is Quentin Dunbar doing? Shoot, I may just... Oh, I thought I was going to get a pick. I thought I was going to get a pick there. Well, I, see, I knew this game was not going to be... Alright, 
I'm going to do something that I'm I'm not going to do a lot in these videos, but just because I'm running out of time, I'm going to I'm going to super sim to the fourth quarter. I'm going to simulate to the fourth quarter. So see, okay, they scored a touchdown. Can we come back? Nope. We're getting killed. Alright. We're just going to, since this game is out of hand, um, we're just going to simulate to the end of the game. 38, 41 to 7. Alright, 41 to 10. We just got obliterated by the better team. Jared Goff was a, I mean, passer rating 42 for golf. The two interceptions, but that was my fault. But we literally just couldn't get anybody going on the rushing side. Jared Goff had more rushing yards than DeAndre Swift, and that's kind of sad. Um... Receive, re receive, receiving. Brown had a great game. I liked what I saw from him. Same with Cephas. Uh, but we need to be better. We really do. I need to be better. Um, but um, it's week one. It is. Uh, we just um, just couldn't do it. We just could not do it. Uh, like I said, I'm probably never going to sim do a super sim like that. The only reason why it is because I'm running out of time. Um, that's that's the only reason why. Hopefully, I mean, I, I, start, I started doing this before 10 o'clock. And that's when I did the 15 minute video and then I said, oh no, I'm going to redo it. And then, it, you know, so um, each video is going to be a little bit longer than this one, than 27 minutes. But I just had to run out of time. Besides, we were probably never going to win this game anyway. So... Um, but it was still a good game by Sprown. Uh, I, I liked what I saw from Goff, actually, even though those two interceptions, but I, I threw bad passes. Um, but, like I said, let me know what you guys want me to do with the guys I said I didn't want to keep long-term. And those are, and the guys are Michael Brockers, Quentin Dunbar. I don't even want him anymore. I mean, he can't, flat, he flat out just can't make a tackle. Um, Michael Brockers, Quentin Dunbar, uh, Brashad Perryman. And uh, Jamie Collins, you know those guys. Um, so uh, yeah. So next next episode, um, I'm gonna do tomorrow, uh, and uh, we'll be against none other than the Green Bay Packers. Are also every one of the NFC North have lost their first game, so we're not out of the division on it yet. <laughs> but, you know, it's only week. It's only was one week, but so. Um, that's another game that I feel like it's going to be tough. we got to play in Lambeau against Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Jair Alexander, Darius Smith, Kenny Clark. You know, we got a tough matchup coming. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, took me a forever to make. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see the past attempts to doing this video... Uh, you can go to my Twitch, which is how I do my YouTube videos. Um, what I do is I stream on Twitch. After the stream is done, I go on my laptop. I go to Twitch on there. Go to past streams. I download the stream I want to upload. Once it's downloaded, I go to YouTube and upload that video. That's how I do it. Um, sooner or later, I will get better at this. Like I'll probably buy a few things. But that's probably not until I move out of my parents' house, which hopefully, which hopefully will be next summer. But um, for now, this is how I'm going to be doing it. Um, but if, yeah, if you guys really want to see the uh, past attempts of these videos, you can go to my Twitch, which is Corwin701. 
um, it's all lowercase, and then you can go to my past streams and look what else what I've done too. You, you know, you can see the YouTube videos I've done, you know, and the the YouTube videos that I started but didn't want to show or didn't want to post and all that. But um, so yeah, uh, like I said, if you guys watch this video, please, please, please comment down below and tell me what you guys think I should do with the four players that I don't want to keep or. You know, what should I do with Jared Goff or, you know, other things, even even other things. Like, anything you wanted to suggest, I may do, I may not. But it would be just, it would be great if I can get feedback and, you know, get some suggestions from you guys and see what I should do with this team. Now, like I said, ultimately, I have the final say, and I already have a plan for this team. But, well, sort of. I do sort of have a plan. But um, my plan is to make a dynasty for this team. But, um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good day.